guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Chi Chi here again and today guys we will be addressing a couple of questions that I have um, frequently received when I shot the video um, how to apply for a German study visa or how to apply for a study visa to Germany so guys I had waited for these questions because it, it was I was receiving it quite um, all the time and I felt that you know I had to really address a few things you know I have to clarify a few things and yes so that's why we're making this video so guys come with me the first question I've always received has to do with attestation of documents so attestation of your credential or your what do I call it <laughs> your study you know previous study certificates and things like this so um, I had to really look up what attestation means and according to the dictionary attestation means an evidence or proof of something it also means um, it's an official verification of something as true or authentic so guys what they are asking you to do by attesting your document is that for you to prove that these things are authentic and true and then attestation also has to do with authentication and verification so I'm just gonna give you um, um, details of what I did myself um, when I was asked to attest my documents or my academic document what I did was first of all I went ahead to the Ministry of Education situated in Abuja and I got this um, document my transcript of records my YX certificate or definitely your academic um, certificate I got them authenticated by the Ministry of Education. It was stamped, it was signed, and it was verified as authentic. And so with this, I went ahead to the Foreign um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and also I kind of um, authenticated that, that, you know, it, it's, it's valid enough to, um, to be shared abroad. Let's put it that way, because, um, when I looked up what it means to authenticate a document, a um, couple of websites said something like authentication of documents is when you're actually using this document outside of Nigeria. So basically, you authenticate this document to show that it's true, to show that the university you attended is um, existing and then um, the, the certificate you have as well, is it's, it's valid. So that has to do with authentication. And then I still went ahead to certify my document and that, that's also when we talk about certification of documents. So basically certification is when you're certifying photocopied um, or extra copies of the original true copies of your document and basically um, stamping or verifying that those documents are as valid as you as the original one which you have so that is basically what I did to certify and there are different places you can certify your document um, you could go to the court or you could find a notary or you could as well go to the ministry of um, the ministry of whatever country you you apply for your visa if it's Germany definitely the German embassy they can as well certify your document for free if I'm correct I read that on their website so guys I hope I've been able to address certification as well as um, as well as authentication and then the next question will be is there any agency in Nigeria that processes admission or visa for intending students? Guys, the reason why I put out my video is so that you can go ahead and do this process on your own because it's quite easy. You just need the information and then you just need the advice on how to go about this. I do not really encourage anyone going for you know agencies because they're just going to take your money and at the end of the day they might not give you the result that you so desire. So definitely I don't advise anyone um, going through an agency or I do not know of any agency that helps students apply for visas to Germany from Nigeria. So um, another question is applying for bachelor study what documents are relevant so certain university would require if you have attended so let's say there are some certain people who have attended university for one year or two years so basically there are people even with um, a national diploma so if you have a national diploma 
that's a two-year study that you've done in a polytechnic in Nigeria and you want to apply for a bachelor's degree I would say it's safe to use your transcript of record for the first year to apply for this bachelor's study otherwise if you have nothing like this then you can as well go ahead and use your WAYEG and your NECO certificate to apply for your bachelor's um, um, study program um, the next question is what schools are recommended so I would say I would recommend schools that are within the city let's put it that way so within the the big cities in Germany such as Frankfurt Munich Berlin um, Hamburg Dusseldorf I, would, I don't know I would actually Cologne I would actually recommend universities that are um, that are situated in cities where you have more opportunity as an international student to find work to integrate easily I really do not recommend going to really small cities especially with you know less than 200,000 people because you're not going to feel so comfortable there and you're really going to feel out of place this is just this is just my um, recommendation I'm not saying that there are not a lot of people going for universities in you know smaller cities but guys this is just what I would suggest and secondly I would say go for universities or schools where the course of study is totally in English but please guys if you have studied German to a level where you can understand of course you can go for a study program that's kind of dual so it's English partly and German partly only if you studied German please do not go and study a dual uh, language course when you have no knowledge of the German language you're gonna struggle a lot and you're not gonna like it so the next question is if my undergraduate is in is 100% do I need um, a German proof uh, do I need a German proficiency before applying for a visa if my undergraduate degree is in 100% English do I need a German proficiency before applying for a visa no you do not need a German profici proficiency <laughs> to apply for the visa actually only when you apply for a course of study that is in dual so it's in German and in English then you need to prove to the school that you have a German proficiency in uh, to be able to cope with that course of study but you do not need it when your your study is going to be in English and you do not need it when you're going to be um, going to the embassy to um, to submit to apply for your visa so the next question is IELTS is it a must or not I would say IELTS is not a must please guys it is definitely not a must IELTS is requested by some universities and not all if your um, undergraduate course of study is in English you just need to get a letter from your university stating that your undergraduate study was in English and then you have good proficiency of the English language and that would work but if you feel like going for IELTS just to prove that you know your English level is quite good then you can as well go for it but definitely not all school makes uh, makes it mandatory and definitely it's not a must so and IELTS is not determined by the embassy although they would request for something like that that shows that you have good English proficiency you can as well use that letter from your school um, to go to, you know to take with you to the embassy and that should you know work and the next question is where can authentication be done Lagos in Abuja Abuja guys I did mine in Abuja I don't think I live in Lagos I grew up in Lagos but definitely there was not such Ministry of Education or Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Lagos at that time it's a couple of years ago two years ago yeah two years ago um, the next question is do you think nine million uh, sorry do you think five million can move me to Germany so currently five million if I'm correct is there about I don't know nine thousand euro there about then uh, roughly maybe a little bit more and right now the blocked account so the blocked account which shows that you know you are able to finance yourself and your accommodation is currently at 10,236 that's the amount of blocked account right now and 
when you calculate that it it amounts to 5.5 million naira so this question talking about if 5 million can take you to germany i don't think so because you need first of all 5.5 million for blocked account you need money for visa you need money to um settle in once you arrive in germany you also need money for flight tickets you also need money to see yourself through for the next one or two months before you get your blocked account open because when you move to germany you have to register your address definitely you have to pay for deposit for your house you have to pay for the first month rent and then when you're able to do this then you can be able to get your blocked account money but then you need money to be able to settle in first so definitely i would say 5.5 million for the blocked account and an extra 1 million really an extra 1 million that's 6.5 so 6.5 would be like sufficient enough for you to get your two feet running as soon as you get to germany and um, the next question is i'm funding my blocked account by myself do i need to declare myself as a sponsor um so we have two <coughs> two ways of showing the embassy that you're able to survive when you get to Germany or you're able to take care of yourself. That's by opening a blocked account and the second is by getting a sponsorship letter. So you cannot use both at the same time. Getting a blocked account is just enough for a student, but having a sponsorship letter, it means that someone else is sponsoring you to study here and that person has to prove, you know, his, his or her job. Um, the person also has to write a letter or give you a letter that you can give to the embassy that shows who they are and how long they've been living in Germany. So you cannot use both. Once you put in the money for your blocked account, the 5.5 million or the 10,236 10, euro in your account in Germany, um, you can take the confirmation of this account to the embassy with you. So definitely you cannot declare yourself as a sponsor and declare yourself having a blocked account at the same time. The next question is how long does your application took when given a visa in Dubai by the German embassy? So because I applied for my visa from Dubai, <laughs> I got my visa um, after two and a half weeks, they about. Um, yeah, yeah, about two and a half weeks because I took I, I delayed also getting my insurance. I was not in a rush, so I got my visa in two and a half weeks. But definitely the time varies because the embassy in Lagos is quite busy sometimes and they, they probably do a lot of checks than you know elsewhere. So I would say it depends between two weeks to three months. It just depends. And also I think the embassy takes into consideration your um your school um, resum resumption time. So I think they also take that into consideration and they try to make sure that the, your visa is out before the resumption of your university. The next question is, when can one apply for a visa at the embassy? As soon as you got your admission letter, you run. <laughs> Sorry. Even before you get your admission letter from the university, I think you can as well book a place from the um, from the website of the German embassy just to secure a place. But usually, I don't know how possible it is these days, but I think they try to stop people from doing it because now if you want to apply for... Um, um, uh, when you want to get a point, an appointment at the embassy, you have to show that you already have your admission letter because i think quite a lot of people are just getting appointments even without getting an admission and then they're not showing up at the embassy and then they are therefore bl blocking other people who already have their admission with them so i think i heard or uh, read things like this happening in lagos and so they've tried to really stop it but definitely go for apply for an appointment at the embassy as soon as you've got your study um, place or study confirmation from the university the next question is which english university will you recommend guys i told you i will recommend only universities based in the city and only universities that you can cope with the language of study if it's in english and you can cope with english go ahead if it's in english and german and you have good knowledge of the german language 
go ahead but definitely don't apply for a dual study program when you're not good in German <laughs> that's gonna suck the next question is I have both YAC and national diploma can I use my diploma to apply for bachelor's program yes I said before earlier that you can use your um, first year transcript of your national diploma and to apply for a bachelor's program definitely or you could even use your wire and skip the other one 15 um, how do I get a health insurance so you can get I got my health insurance from care concept so that was like three months because um, the embassy would request that you give them a three months um, health insurance coverage that covers you within that three month because they would give you a three month visa for the for the from the main from the beginning and so when you get to Germany then you can convert that visa to a full uh, resident visa study resident visa so definitely I got my through care concept but you can get yours through my vista you can get yours through I think some some people or some students I know even got their insurance through some local um, insurance company in, in Nigeria so just google and have, do a bit of research about it the last question is <laughs> letter of motivation how do I really go about it I would really stress here that as long as you're applying for a program that um, that's related to your if you apply for a master's program and and you've already done the bachelor's as long as you're applying for a program that you're familiar with you can use that bachelor's program as a kind of motivation to want to go ahead right so um it's pretty easy you just have to make a bit of research and try to connect the dots you know if you have working experience as well you can as well try to say listen i've done this in my bachelor's degree i moved ahead and you know i'm working this you know at this job and i want to progress and i want to further my education in this field and that's the reason why i'm going for a master's program so letter of motiv motivation is definitely not something to worry about please just do a bit of research it's so easy it just bothers around your bachelor's and your work experience as well as why you want to reason why you want to you know further your education you can as well say something like you want to move to germany because germany is the super world power <laughs> great economy <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> but anyway just do a bit of research and of course if you have questions and need help and feel free to contact me on instagram I do not share my mobile number because of private privacy reasons and you can all, always reach out to me on Instagram. I try my best to, you know, to answer a lot of people. So guys, I hope I've been able to answer some questions. I've, I hope I've been able to address a few questions, but still, I'm still open for more and more questions <laughs> coming from you guys. And thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice week. Bye.